Look at the size of this fish right down here. And what is this? Oh, this thing is cool. Oh, this one is beautiful. It's been nearly 24 hours. Beautiful, beautiful little fish. And, oh, look, oh, wait. there's two Africans down here. This thing is just loaded with cichlids. There's some albino alien fish. Oh, look at that. So many fish, guys, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we're going to be doing a 24-hour fish trap at this canal. If you guys remember this polluted uh, canal from a couple videos ago, then you know this place is absolutely loaded with a bunch of cichlids and exotic aquarium fish. And so the weather's been really, really bad these last couple of days. And so I've been thinking about how I could actually beat the bad weather conditions and still make videos for you guys. And I think the way we can do it is, is by doing these 24-hour fish traps. So I've got one of my good old lucky, you know, good old fish traps right here from the wish list. One of you guys actually got these for me. It was Jenna Wright. I remember you still. I'll never forget you, but you got these fish traps and they're extremely, extremely good. And so we're going to take one of these and set them down right here. Last video, guys, we were able to actually catch a bunch of catfish, cichlids, all kinds of stuff, Jack Dempsey's, big balloon mollies. I actually still have some in the tanks back at the house. And just walking up on the canal, guys, you could see that it's actually just completely bustling with activity right now so we're gonna get down here and start fishing for sure i got this net right here now this net is super super fine and given that we have a bunch of little baby cichlids in here you might actually pull up like a lot of fish so you're just gonna keep netting i want to take a few nets before we set the trap just to see how juicy this spot is still because it's oh oh my god oh no <laughs> Niagara Falls been getting a lot of rain so it might be a little bit different I don't know if we got any fish in this first net which is fine you know you're not guaranteed to catch fish in every single net that's how, that's how it goes you guys know if you fish and you net around then you know you're not gonna catch something every time but usually last time when we were here these weeds oh no oh no <laughs> Luckily, guys, I do have a backup net, but this one just completely crumpled right in the middle, guys. This is why the wish list is live. I never intentionally break stuff, but it's just the nature of what we do. We rip these nets through a lot of really nasty stuff. I'm not seeing any little baby jewels in here. We've been, we were catching a load of them last time. Maybe the flow pushed them down the canal a little further, so we might move down there as well, but that's the first two nets. I need to go grab a fresh one. But after I get that next net, guys, we're going to work our way down the canal and also set the fish trap so we can let it sit for a whole day to see what we can catch overnight. We, there's a lot of hoplo catfish in here as well. All right, so setting the trap right there, it should do just fine. This is nearly exactly where we had it last time. It's completely submerged. There's a little bit of oxygen just in case we catch some more gourami. And this is the net we're going to be using right now just because I know for certain this one won't break. This bank is a lot steeper, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but you already know we're going to get the job done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, I see some fish in there. Okay, cool. Oh, I think I saw a little baby croft. Oh, yeah, look. See what I mean, guys? This canal is loaded with stuff. Look, we got a jewel cichlid right here. Pretty typical for this canal. We got another little guy right here. Beautiful little fish. I saw... Some more stuff in here. Oh, yep, look. And this is just one good net, guys. Look, we got a crawfish. I'm putting them all back in the net so I could show you absolutely everything. Pretty confident I saw a little smaller crawfish in here as well. I'm getting tore up by mosquitoes. But so far, that net had these three guys in it. Super, super cool finds. Very, very nice. We're gonna get all this back in the water. Oh, 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 fish, 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 fish. Hey, buddy. Another beautiful little jewel cichlid, I believe. Four fish caught in this single net. Come back down to these thick grass mats. Like that, Judge. Like, literally, like clockwork. We're catching so many little cichlids and stuff. Very, very nice fish. This is another jewel. Oh, look. Look at the size of this molly. This isn't one of the balloon mollies we caught last time, but nonetheless, still a very, very cool fish. Boom. Another cichlid right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so easy. Not sure if that's it for this net, but. Oh, 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 buddy. Boom. Another jewel cichlid. Throw all this stuff back. I think that was everything out of this one. Oh, I see a lot of little fish. Hopefully, we scoop. Oh, what is that? Oh, look at the size of this fish right down here. Oh, what are you? Oh my God. Look at that. This could be some sort of tetra or something. I'm not entirely too sure. We got to get him in a cooler real quick. Real quick, look through this, see if there's anything else. I'll dump this out in a second, but since we got a fish in our hand, I'll get this cooler filled with some water. There we go. Getting some water in there for the boy. We're just going to keep her cooler right here just for simplicity but we got our first exotic fish i don't know what that is check the rest of this net and i gotta be careful there's a lot of like scrap glass and i'm wearing plastic shoes see if there's anything in this net right here i don't i think that was the only fish in that net surprisingly usually we always catch some 
cichlid. But right, we'll just throw this right back in there. Get right back into it. See right here. Oh, big net. Come on. We just caught something cool. Give me something cooler. I'm basically saying I'm cooler. Back in the sixth grade. I got the bad grades. What is this? It's a cichlid. Like a little tilapia right there. Not cool. I just threw him back in the canal. But it's everything from this net. Just going to keep working our way down. Doing our best. Oh, that was a big net. That was a really good net. Oh, look at how much muck we just pulled up. There's no way there's not a crawfish in here. There's got to be a crawfish, right? Oh, cichlid. Cool. I could already tell that was a jewel. They're like everywhere in this canal. That is it for this net. But the sun's coming down, so... Oh, we got a bunch of little minnows in here. So it's going to be... Oh, 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 what are you? What are you? Oh, big jewel, big jewel. And what is this? Oh, this thing is cool. I don't... It looks like some sort of like tetra, maybe even a live bear. But a big jewel in this net. Any other little fish? Not really. I literally saw more fish in the net, so I don't know where they disappeared off to. There's another jewel. Very nice. Very nice. So we got three fish in this net. I'm not seeing anything else. But a one fish that's probably exotic. And then we got this larger jewel cichlid down here with some beautiful colors on it. Pretty, very pretty little fish. We'll get this guy in our little keeper cooler though. I do like this thing. Oh yeah, look. Oh yeah. I already see a good amount of fish right down here. Oh! Oh my god! Look at the colors on this molly. Oh, this one is beautiful. Wow. We got a jewel stick. I didn't even see this guy, but we got another jewel. Oh, another molly. Oh, <laughs> sick. Another molly right here, but this one is absolutely gorgeous right here. I would keep it, but I kind of want to let him continue to breed, to be honest, in this canal. And right here, we got another jewel. That's it for these guys right here. I was just about to throw these guys back, and then I realized we got some more fish down here. Another molly, it seems. What? You're netting? Yeah, I caught uh, a little jewel cichlid, and I caught um, some, like, little mosquito fish. Just, like, little stuff. Damn. Yeah. Oh, I, I appreciate it. You get anything in here, man. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here, actually. Well, if you're getting stuff here, I imagine you'd get... There ain't no telling what you get down there. Really? Bass fish and everything in there. Yeah, I'll check it out. See where Mother Nature fell through over here? Yeah. What do you got, a, a, a fish tank or something? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, man. Be safe. All right, thank you. Love the hair, man. Love the hair. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, look. Another little jewel cichlid. We'll get him back in there. We're going to come right down here, guys, and take another scoop. But we'll probably be leaving soon. But we'll see what's in this last net. This is going to be the last net before we let the trap sit overnight. Oh, oh, off the hop, I already see a little cichlid right here, I believe. Yep. This is a little jewel right here. Throw him back. Got to check these little stretches, too, just to make sure. Oh, yep, like I said. Make sure there's nothing hiding in them. We got another little baby cichlid. Oh, what is this? I just saw his head peeking out. Oh, it's another one of these weird little fish right here. I don't know what these are exactly, but we'll just hold on to them for a second. What we... Oh, look. Oh, nice. This thing is ginormous. We might actually keep these ones just because they're so huge. But look at the size of this fish. I don't know what it is, guys. If you can idea, let me know. But we'll see if there's anything else straggling along. Any little cichlids, any little crawfish, any little catfish, anything worth keeping? No, it doesn't seem like it. So we're going to get these guys in our keeper bucket. This is everything we've caught from the canal so far. Some cool little smaller fishes. No really cool cichlids yet. And now we're going to leave the trap overnight. We're going to start netting some more tomorrow as well. It's just for the time being, guys, I'm not going to fish. A, because, you know, it's a little active around the spot. You guys know me. I don't know how much of that conversation I caught. Like, sure, she was a nice lady. You know what I mean? I don't like to hang around. And then some weird pulls up. So, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna let the trap sit overnight and come back tomorrow net some more see if we could catch any more fish I'm really hoping we could catch some cichlids and some of those catfish in that trap But for the time being we're gonna let the trap sit and we'll come back and net some more tomorrow Because the Sun's coming down and the gang stalkers are out and about so <laughs> I don't want to hang around We're leaving we're leaving you can't convince me otherwise We're coming back tomorrow and we're gonna check the trap after 24 hours have passed. All right, guys, so we're back at the canal. It's been nearly 24 hours. It's about an hour before we set that last trap. The trap is still here, sitting right there. So it's looking pretty, pretty good. We're just gonna take a couple more nets before we check the trap. Uh, it might rain, it might, it might just rain, but we should be good regardless. Come down here, get some big nets to see if we can pull up any more fish. Oh, God. Just, oh, okay. I see some fish in here already. We got our little keeper cooler right here. So I'm going to just bring the net close. See, we can pull anything up out of here. Oh, look at that. Off the top, I already see a really nice little jewel cichlid right here. Boom. Hey, bud, 
Hey, beautiful, beautiful little fish. Let's start digging through these weeds. All right, let's start digging through this mess to see if we can find any more little cichlids throughout here. Put it between my legs. Boom. Oh, look. Oh, where'd he go? A crawfish just shot out of it. There he is, look. No, oh, look, oh, wait. there's two Africans down here too. We have not caught African cichlids from this location yet, but we got two Africans and this little crawfish right here. These guys are super sick. We'll get them in the keeper cooler real quick. Gotta unlatch this bad boy. We still got the catches from yesterday in here, guys. I just didn't take them out because I wanted to see what all we caught at the end of the video, but we got some African cichlids right there and this crawfish we're gonna be putting back. Very good, very good, but I don't think there's any more fish in this net right here. So I think we're just gonna throw the, oh, dual cichlid. Making me eat my own words. But I think that is it for this net. Oh, oh wait. Oh, there's this little fish. For oh no, look at that. What are you? Oh, oh, I think this might be a baby Oscar. Look at that, this guy is absolutely adorable. We're definitely going to be keeping him in the bucket right now. So we're gonna put him in a keeper cooler. Beautiful little baby Oscar. And then we got this jewel cichlid. We're just gonna put him back in the canal. We're gonna take a handful of more nets just because we can. I'm not gonna go too, too crazy with the netting right now because we do have to beat the rain. So I wanna be able to check the trap before it actually starts coming down. This looks pretty good right here. Also guys, for those of you asking about Camera Girl and uh, Last Vid, she's back. You know, everybody's got their own lives, guys. Just because you don't see her in a few videos doesn't mean she's disappeared. She ghosted me. She, she, she ghosted me, guys. But, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I just got him right before. Hey, he fell out of the net. I just got him before he swam off into the canal. A beautiful little jewel cichlid right here. Oh, look, there's another one. This thing is just crawling with jewel cichlids. So we're gonna get these guys all back in the canal. Oh, nice. Look, we finally caught an adult jewel. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Wow, look at the speckling. So pretty. They're literally gorgeous little fish. We're gonna get him back though in his natural habitat. Oh, actually, it's not natural, they're invasive. Oh. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm almost like at a point where I just want to stop announcing every jewel we find just because there's just so many of them. Ridiculous. One by your really? Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's a third one right here. <laughs> I threw all the ones we picked up already back in the water, but this thing is just loaded with cichlids. Some snails? You want some snails, guys? <laughs> But we'll just throw that away. That's so cringe. <laughs> yeah. Was it cringe? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sorry. But oh! What is this? No! No way. Look at the- Oh, oh! <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look. <laughs> A little baby albino pleco. There's some albino alien fish in this canal, I guess. That's the first time I ever caught one of these guys. Beautiful, beautiful little fish right here. So we're definitely going to be keeping him and adding him to the 150 gallon tank for sure. I'll give you guys an update on that tank as well, but we've been desperately needing some sort of algae eater. So being able to find these guys here, it's kind of clutch. Like that's actually incredible. We're gonna put him back in there. I'm not seeing any more fishes. Do the last little check. Yeah. I don't think there's anything left in here. So we're just gonna throw all this back in the water. And we're gonna take a couple more nets before we check the trap. Ugh, gross. Uh, I'm gonna net right here. A little net right here. Oh, that was a really good net. I already see so many fish. This thing, <laughs> it's like a cheat code over here. But we're just gonna keep bringing them back to this little inspection spot. A nice little spot to do all the gandering. But I saw some fish in here already, so, oh yeah. Oh my God, look, oh my God, oh my God. It was meant to be, look, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Stop, right there in that little pocket. There were four little creatures. We're gonna get these guys all back. Anything left in this muck? There definitely is, I'm just not seeing it because just look at that crap. I don't think there's anything left in this muck. Yeah, you got a hand in my mouth? Can you get it for me? <laughs> you want me to stick my hand uh -huh. in my mouth? Uh -huh. Ew. You got it? <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> What would I do without her, you know? What's up? Oh, little killifish. Yeah, I saw these guys here for the first time yesterday. Pretty cool little native species right here. They get really colorful, the males. They get actually very nice, but... Enough flirting, Cam. I have to follow you all the way over there. Not all the way. I'm gonna go net right. It's just automatic. This spot is so awesome, guys. If you wanna see another video here, just let me know, cause the amount of stuff we catch here is unreal. But we're just gonna dump these guys out right there. Oh, hey bud, he went flying. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm not even gonna tell you guys about these. We catch so many of them. Oh yeah, that's another fish right here. Oh, okay, not a cool fish, but a different fish, the tilapia. What are you? What the hell is this? What? <laughs> 
What are you? Give them a little rinse, a little dunk in the water. Ooh, little mud minnow maybe? I'm not entirely too sure what that is, but we're gonna get these guys back in the water. Oh, more tilapia, crawfish. Switching it up a little bit, guys. We got a crawfish and a tilapia. Super insane. Oh, wait. What is this? What the hell is that? Oh, wow. What is, I, I literally have no idea what this is. What, it might be some kind of pleco. Like if you look at its tail, it's wiry looking. I don't know. I have no idea what this is. He's a weird looking little fish. What is that? That's gotta be, I, I don't know. Maybe some sort of pleco, some sort of catfish. Either way, we're gonna be keeping him. He's kind of funky, kind of weird. That is everything out of this net, guys. We're gonna throw all this stuff back and get right back to it. We're just gonna keep working our way down the canal. We have not caught any of the hoplo catfish yet, but I think it's just because my net doesn't have that long handle, so I can't like scrape through the middle of this. I can only pick up the weed. Oh, for a second, I thought that leaf was like a monster fish, and I was gonna be stoked. See? what all we caught in here i'm just gonna spearhead this thing straight down the middle oh oh wait wait stop flopping around look at this what the hell these things are so fat what these are definitely like convicts but i've never seen them this chunky before like i've caught them at a few other locations but these things are chunky chunky stubby little guys that is really sick <laughs> That is so cool. We're gonna get them in our little keeper bucket right here. You know, we didn't catch any more jewel cichlids. I mean, we probably did. Somewhere in this mess, there's probably a couple lurking around. We're gonna get this weed mass back in the water. Gross. Ew. And I think we'll take like two or three more nets in to check the trap, because that trap's been sitting there for nearly an entire day. Oh, that was a huge net. Look at this. Oh, it wasn't a jewel. It was one of those catfish I was telling you guys about. If you remember last video, we caught a ton of these guys here. Please stop. They got spines, so I got to be a little careful that they don't stick me. Right here, guys, is one of those hoplo catfish. We catch them all the time in the Everglades. We don't usually catch them outside of the Everglades, but they're right here. Very populous in this canal. Very cool little catfish find. We're going to put him back. Some jewels right here. Oh. Ooh, ooh, crawfish. Oh, this is actually like a really good crawfish spot too. Crawfish and jewels are like the most popular thing here. Oh my God. <laughs> Ow, oh, oh, he's break dancing. Beautiful crawfish, big guy. Definitely getting him back in the water. Yeah, that's a stud right there. I don't think it was female. Let's see if there's anything left in this mess right here. We got a good amount of weeds to sort through. Oh, look at that. It's a blood red, like, super pretty little mabuna so that's really cool to see that there's actually africans in this system as well as those other exotic we'll just see anybody hiding in this mess oh wait <laughs> i just found this little guy crawling around in the mud too so they got all kinds of stuff in this canal oh he just slipped out of my hands but that's like two pleco so far honestly at this point guys i'm gonna take one more net and then we're gonna check the trap. Oh, fish struggling. All, f all fish lives matter. But we're gonna check, take one more net and then check the trap, guys, because I feel, well, actually, it's almost been a whole 24 hours, so <laughs> kinda have to. All right, we're gonna take one last net, and then we're gonna check that trap and see what we caught in there. I'm feeling pretty optimistic given what we caught in here. All right, guys, last net. We're just gonna take it up right there. See what all we caught in this. Ah, oh, what a surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm getting tired of these. So. <laughs> like, there's just so many of these things here. It's literally ridiculous. But it seems like that was it for this net, guys. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pull the trap. We're going to see what all we caught in there. Oh, almost fell on the canal. And then we can keep all the stuff. We'll keep it. If we can't, I'll find a friend I could give it to. But we're definitely going to be bringing back whatever we catch back. Now it is time to check the fish trap, guys. If you look right here, we got the trap. It hasn't been touched. Nobody interfered. I was kind of worried that like one of the homeless people would get curious and like actually mess with it. But I don't think they... Oh! I see a fish down in there. I think I see a couple... At oh! I see a pleco in it. All right. So we're going to pull this up right here. I'm going to pull it up by the strings and then we're going to check all this out. Yeah, they ate all the bait we put in here. So we're going to check out what's in this trap. I hear a lot of movement, so I'm kind of optimistic. It feels heavy. Oh my God. Are you for... There's a turtle in the trap. How does this always happen? Like, how do you even get in here, tubby? Dude, how do you do it? Like, how do you manage? Seriously, how does he find his way in there? This thing, actually, this one, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> he actually kind of fits. But we got a turtle right here. We're just gonna put him back there. He'll do his thing, but wow, look at this. We caught some monster jewel cichlids in there along with some exotic aquarium fish. We're trying our best to get these guys out as fast as possible because it's really hot outside, but we got some beautiful, beautiful adult jewels right there. This is actually the biggest one I've caught out of this system. Huge, huge adult male, super, super pretty fish. Beautiful, 
they really are pretty and they're at, oh nice we got more of these little plecos so i'm gonna start picking up as many fish as i could see big handful right here so many fish guys look at this beautiful beautiful jewel i got an african cichlid right there two african cichlids some native stuff we're gonna throw all these guys back and then we got this guy right here another beautiful little baby pleco i see some more down here jewel cichlid lame leave me alone i see another i see a couple plecos oh this one's pretty big this pleco has some good size to it already we got some more little alien fish some baby little albinos really cool finds we got another couple african cichlids in here we didn't catch too many south american cichlids this time around but super super cool fish i almost threw them back <laughs> I'm so used to picking up jewels and throwing jewels. That was almost such a big mistake. <laughs> Look, we got some more fish in here. Oh my God, we caught a piece of glass. Oh my God. I felt that, but it looks like the rest of these seem to be some little natives. Oh wait, this might be an African right here. Hello, buddy. Yeah, I think this is an African. We're going to hold on to him. But the rest of these seem to be some native stuff. We're going to put them back. We're going to get everything we got in my hand right now back in the cooler real quick. So far, this is everything we pulled out of the trap. Some Africans, some albino plecos, some really cool stuff. We'll just get them all in right here. And then we'll see what else we got in this trap. I'm not seeing too much color, too much of anything really. We're going to shake it around, make sure. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a convict cichlid in here. And we got another one of these little plecos. Beautiful, beautiful finds, guys. We got another little pleco, another convict. Very nice, very nice. I think that is it in this trap. I'm going to check the edges real quick. We got one more super colorful guy right here. Oh, look, the turtle came out. I don't think there's any fish stuck in here. So I think we're good to throw these guys all back. I think that's everything out of this fish trap. So we're just going to turn around and dump this back in the canal. Get everybody out of there. We're going to take all these fish that we just caught out of the canal, bring it back to the house, see what we could keep, see what I need to give away. And now we are back at the house, guys, with the fish for the 150-gallon tank. We were lucky enough to actually be able to catch those albino alien fish. And luckily, those are a species that I can actually keep. You guys are getting frustrated because I'm not keeping a lot of the fish that we're catching. And the main reason is... Just just because it's not compatible with my fish that I currently keep, I keep a lot of like little live bears and stuff like that, little planet tank fish. So a lot of the cichlids and stuff we catch, I can actually keep for myself. So sometimes I give them to a friend. I tried putting them back where I caught them and you guys were irate, even though that's technically, it's just like fishing, like catch, release, whatever. It is what it is, but we got these fish right here. So we got these eight albino fish, right? I don't know what kind of species of plecos these are. We're gonna have to wait a little bit to watch them grow out, but I got them in the tank right here in this little carrier and I'm gonna keep them in here for a little bit before I release them into the tank just to see. Now the lights are off because the timer is off. But you can see there's a lot of biofilm all over this tank that they could actually polish up on and eat. And we also put this mystery catfish in here as well just because it's a little planet tank. He's going to have a lot of cover to hide in. Who knows? He might do really well in this tank. I don't know what he is. If you guys know, comment down below. So I'm going to leave them in here overnight just to check them out. See what they look like. I'll show you guys the tank in the full light and then we'll add them into the tank. And now currently guys, this is where the 150 gallon tank is at right now. Now we're going through some sort of an ugly stage. I did add some fertilizer in here, the correct dosage. And I think part of the reason why it's just doing this is just because um, the nutrients, the tank is still kind of balancing itself out. But the plecos, once we do add them in here, should be able to clean up a lot of the mess on the plants and the actual rock. Here I'm going to do a lot of gravel vacuuming today to actually clear this up. But we're going to leave them in here for the time being while I do that because I don't want to risk sucking any of these guys up through my siphon. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for updates on this tank and to also see what other kind of stuff we could catch and pull out of the canals. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications if you did. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.